Hello everyone, welcome back for a new episode on Glenlathan. Today I hope uh, it will be a very busy episode. I mean we have to start by drilling oats on field I think 29. Uh, then we need to go get a roller because we need to roll the two fields we drilled. This one and field number 35 I think. It's the big one, the big arable field that we have. Then we can get some wool salt, probably some milk salt, see if the animals have any food. And then maybe, I don't know, we have two options. We skip time to next day or next month in game. Or we do a contract. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll have to see... Uh, what in game time it will be when we finish this uh, drilling and rolling on the on our two arable fields but uh, yeah I'll think about it while I while I do this and for you enjoy some music and I will come back to you before we start rolling this. Final strip of oats is now in. Our uh, fields are now drilled. We have uh, we have oats in them. Uh, we need to get to the store as soon as possible to get a roller because uh, I can see some rain in the forecast. Actually, let's stop for a, for a second and check when the rain is going to come. Uh, it's going to come at 1 and it will last until 4 p.m. Uh, I don't know. I think I can do rolling in the rain. It's, uh, it's not a problem from the game perspective. Uh, this has not been a very realistic series. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we can just uh, go with it and do it even if the rain starts. So I'm not going to bother. We need to put this drill back in one of the sheds over here. I'm going to try to back up from in cab. I usually don't don't play in cab, but while traveling, it may be a good idea to do some more in cab driving. I think it's going to be more fun than just uh, watching third person. 
the cows I think should have enough food also the sheep should have enough food uh, maybe until we finish rolling our uh, fields we will be able to maybe get closer to a full load of milk and also I hope the wool price will be good today because it's April and uh, in April we should have the best price for wool but we are now almost as at the shop let's uh, park it over here somewhere in front and let's see what they have to offer in regards of uh, what's it called rollers so let's go to the roller category which is uh, right over here and we have we have some options actually within our our budget it will be nice to go for the Dalbo power roll for 12 meters but yeah it's a little bit expensive right now so we have this uh, Russell Mash KKZ6 at 6 meters we have also this lizard also at 6 meters but more expensive and we have the Russell Mash KKZ 9.2 at 11,000 for 9 meters and I'm thinking about this ones uh, let's get this design if we change the color yeah if we change the color we'll pay more so I'm going to leave it as it is let's buy this and we can attach to the rollers and get back to the fields and roll them I'll start with uh, our bigger field I'll do that first and then move to the other one but first of all let's attach the implement here we go and let's get to the fields okay we are here now let's uh, get into here open up the implement i also go to third person view because as you can imagine by now i will start and do this on a time lapse it will be much faster and much more fun Our fields are now prepared and we should expect the maximum possible yield from, 
from them because we did everything basically they are plowed uh, they are fully fertilized if I remember yes uh, okay we have stones in this one but stones doesn't affect uh, yield and we have weeds growing but we are going to herbicide spray both of the fields in uh, May I think in the first uh, growth stage we are going to, to do that uh, and right now let's go park this uh, roller in a shed I think I'm going to put it in the shed on the right side when you enter the farm and then let's uh, take the trailer and load the wool pall pallets on it I'll first check the price but uh, after I, I put this in, in here uh, I'm not gonna try to do this in cab because the place is very crowded and I don't want to hit anything like I said and then I was going straight for that pole <laughs> but okay uh, it's in the shed now let's see if the price for wool is best right now as I am thinking uh, 3500 in April so yeah the price is best right now and we are going to the supermarket the supermarket should be just here okay so this will be a fast job let's get this front loader on the on our tractor and I'll go and see how many pallets of wool we have because if we have only two I think we have only two I'm not going to get the trailer I'm going to get them on the forks and uh, go sell them as as, uh, as they are with the, with the tractor let's go and see So yeah, we have two full pallets and one that has just spawned. I'm not going to bother about that one. Let's get those two pallets on, on the tractor and get them sold. Let's hope the tractor will be... I moved that one but I don't think it's a problem. Uh, let's hope the tractor will be able to pick both of them up. I really hope so because I don't think I have a rear weight. Ah, but it does. It's okay. It picked them. It picked them straight up. Okay. Now let's go to the supermarket and uh, sell this wool. I'm not expecting to get a huge amount for it, but anything will be good we have because we only have uh, 4,000 in the bank account. And then we can see about maybe selling off also some milk. Uh, and getting some more money in. Then uh, I think we are going to move to May. So we just make a left over here, the supermarket is very very close and I'm glad that the best price for wool is actually here because I don't have to travel so far. So let's see how much we get for those two pallets. Almost 7500 for two pallets of wool, it's not bad at all, maybe until next year April. Uh, we will be able to have a lot more wool and we'll get much more money for it but it's good I mean 7000 it almost paid for the rollers that uh, I bought earlier so it's good enough for me uh, now before we get to the farm we can stop here a little bit and check the price for milk we have 7000 liters of milk which is good the best price should be somewhere September, January and January but the difference is not that big I mean we have at the dairy 2078 and the best price is 2200 so yeah let's also go and sell the milk we have let's put some lights on because it's starting to get dark it's 5 
it's 5 p.m. on our farm. Uh, but uh, before I do that, let's put the pallet forks here because we don't need pallet forks for milk. And we just need to hook up to this trailer over here, then we can go to the dairy. I'll check on the map, I think I know where it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's get the milk in the trailer. Okay, let's see where this dairy is, I think it's just down the road, yes. Okay, so let's get to the dairy and make some money on the milk. I've been there before, so I will see you at the dairy and see how much money we make from selling the milk. After a very short trip, we are now at the dairy. Uh, let's see how much money we make. I think it will be uh, somewhere around 14,000. If it's more, it's even better. But uh, yeah, that will probably put us around 20 to 25,000 pounds in the bank. And that's not bad. Not bad at all, given the fact that we don't have a loan anymore. Actually, we are almost at 26,000. So yeah, that's pretty good. I will go back to the farm and I will probably see you back, he back in... June and see what jobs we have ahead of us in June. Okay everyone, we are now in May, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, we don't have any rain in the forecast, which is very good, I don't like to work in the rain. Uh, I wanted to say let's check on the animals, but since we are on this page, we can see both our fields have weeds in them, so we need to spray some herbicide to kill the weeds. Uh, the sheep still have 85,000 liters of food, which is okay, and they almost reproduced, so we will have probably 50 sheep. Uh, the cows also, I think, will reproduce soon, and we have 46,000 liters of slurry. They have food, and I think we also have a lot of manure. We will go check and maybe next time we need to fertilize our fields we can use larian manure. Maybe I can lease uh, some equipment for that because I don't think I'll have the money to be able to buy. We have 35,000 liters, okay. I don't think the price for uh, larian for manure is good. I don't think it's worth to to sell them, but let's check. So we have a hun almost a hundred euros for a thousand liters of manure and almost a hundred for slurry. So basically from what we have here we are going to make around seven thousand in the bank and I don't think that's worth it. What we have in here? Solid fertilizer and lime and in here liquid fertilizer. Can we add herbicide here? Yes we can. So I'm thinking about adding 5,000 liters of herbicide and we can have it in storage for when we need it. So let's hook up to the herbicide sprayer. And I think we can unload the fertilizer in that uh, silo that we just put herbicide in. I think. We will have to check. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, yeah, let's go and check and if we can that will be good because uh, I won't have uh, IBCs of fertilizer lying around in, in the yard. So yeah, apparently we can. Let's go also check, see what's happening. Yes, see, it's loading up in here, so that's good. Let, let it unload and then we can put some herbicide in and go do fast our two fields and kill the wheat. And after that I'm thinking about maybe getting a contract. Our grass fields I don't they shouldn't be ready to cut. Our oats field our oat fields they will probably be ready somewhere 
I think August or maybe September we'll see so it's not uh, it's quite a while until then our red fields are not ready to cut they will be ready to cut in, in the next day or the next month if you think about in game so let's uh, quick time lapse putting herbicide on these two fields and uh, I will see you back at the farm when we are finished to look at what's available in the contract menu. <laughs> All the weeds are now almost dead, we have just this small strip over here, I'm not gonna get it in one go but I'll come back and do that little corner there. And uh, you can expect now that we are going to get the best possible yield from our fields. We now basically did everything to them, uh, except for let's say uh, rock picking on this one. But the rocks don't, don't affect the yield, actually they damage the drill and uh, our equipment a little bit, but it's not that bad. So let's get back and put this uh, sprayer back in the shed and then we can have a look onto the contract list to see what's available for Today. I'm not expecting any harvesting contracts because it's only May, the harvesting will be available probably starting with July, we can look at the crop calendar but it's not worth it at this point. Maybe some baling contracts, we already did a lot of baling in this series so I don't know. But yeah, let's see what's available and then we can decide what to do. I'm going to put this in, in this shed over here and then we open the contracts menu uh, not crash into the shed if possible in cab it's a little bit harder to do than in third person view at least for me I'm not used to it I mean it's not that hard if you play a little bit in cab it, uh, it gets easier I'm sure it does but uh, for me, yeah, it's not that uh, it's not that easy. Okay, so let's turn off the engine for now, and let's check the contracts page to see what's available. Okay, so we have only some weeding contracts, and I'm not going to do weeding contracts. So uh, I will see you back in. June and probably our grass fields will be ready to cut by then and we can go and do that. Okay, we are now in June. Let's go check if our grass fields are ready to cut and I think they will be. Yes, look. Look at how big this grass is. Okay, uh, let's cut the grass fields. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what happened in this shed but look at, look at this mess. Oh my god. Uh, let's see how much bales we have. We have straw bales 36, hay bales 21, 
Silish Bills 39. So I'm going to do another hay cut out of this fields that uh, that we have. Let's start this machine over here. This is a little bit louder because it's an older model. What I did forgot to do before we moved to June was to check the used machine store. I don't expect to have anything useful in there. But okay, we have this uh, Brandner power push. But uh, yeah, this is a very big trailer. I don't think our tractor will be managed to cope with it on the hills that we have on this map. So I'm not gonna bother. And we don't have anything else. So let's go cut the hills. Uh, actually, let's check a little bit the animals for a bit. The sheep still have 83,000 liters of food. The cows have over 200,000. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing the grass fields as silage again and sell the sell the bales. I think this will be the best way to go about it. Uh, when will be the best price for silage? Let's see. The best price for silage actually is in December, so we are not in a hurry. But yeah, that, that's uh, the best way to go about it, because uh, we have enough food in storage for now to last the animals until next year. And also, probably I will have time to get at least one more cut out of these grass fields before winter will arrive. So we will be able to make some more food then. So yeah, I will time lapse doing this. Uh, I'm not expecting to finish with the bailing in this episode, but uh, let's do as much as we can. Uh, if we manage to finish cutting the grass, I'm happy. If we manage to start bailing, I'm also happy. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what happens.
Okay, everyone. So the grass on our two fields is now cut. Uh, next jobs I have to do are baling, then wrapping, then collecting the bales and put them to storage, and in the end, uh, what's it called? Roll the grass fields to improve the fertilizing state on them. But all of that is going to happen off camera. I did a lot of bailing in this series, so I know it's not fun and you don't want, want to watch me bail grass episode after episode after episode. So I'm going to do all of that off camera. And uh, for this episode, I'm going to end it here. Uh, and I will probably see you back here in... July, August time depends on when our oats will be ready to harvest. So I hope you are still enjoying this series. If you do, please give me a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.